Hello viewers, it is time for nuclear energy yeah? and this is the nuclear free energy generator. Yeah, essentially nothing is free because we have to build it, but basically it gives a huge amount of energy and it's not a nuclear, uh, it's not like a uh, energy created like radiation, like the fusion or fission. Yeah? So it does not harm the environment if something happens with that. Yeah? So let's see what is this called. So this is called Oleg Gritskevich hydromagnetic dynamo or hydromagnetic generator. So this is it. Yeah. So you can see this is some kind of a torus. Yeah. And and you will see it through. I will make it transparent. Uh, and around this torus there are some windings. Yeah. There are some windings. And um, some electrodes are also put it into this. Let's say uh, so this. Uh, Inside the torus there is a hole, and inside is a polar liquid, and these electrodes are put in this liquid. Yeah? So if I go to the second image, now you can see a cross-sectional view of that. So basically, uh, some kind of torus with a hole inside, and some kind of ioniza ionization liquid will be inside, and we will use these windings uh, and, and, and for magnetic uh, fields, and these electrodes for ionization purpose. Yeah? So let's go back here. I can even make it a little bit shortly transparent so in X-ray that you see. Uh, basically, yeah, you see that it's a hole inside of the torus yeah? and there are some electrodes which are just uh, put inside of the liquid. Yeah? So I'll now get back and now I'll try to explain uh, what is uh, how this is supposed to work. Yeah? So we have the nuclear reaction, of course. So let's see. The dynamo is a sealed toroid filled with distilled water with heavy water, deuterium oxide added. Yeah? The movement of water inside of the toroid closed loop takes advantage of the unique properties of water as a polar liquid, which cause a release of electrical energy due to the rupture of hydrogen connections or bonds. Yeah? Additional electricity, uh, electrical energy is drawn from nuclear reactions and microcavitational processes. The liquid, due to the movement in the toroid, is ionized with a magnetic field due to the stimulation of electromagnetic windings. Yeah? So these windings uh, are used for the ionization yeah? and of course electrodes. A thin layer of electrical material covers the internal surfaces of the toroid 32 electrodes, you can see there are 32 of them, yeah, made from a hard alloy material are inserted into the toroid at equal distances and are connected to a power supply. Yeah? Additional stimulation windings are also connected to the power supply. Yeah? So basically that's it, you see it's a, it's, it's a very simple device in theory, <laughs> very simple. And if I go to this image you can see, yeah, we need a starting device which will be some capacitors. We have need a high voltage and high currents to make this ionization happen inside of the toroid. Yeah? Then we have, of course, need a cooling system yeah? and a buffer battery system to cool this uh, down because, uh, as I repeat, we have a nuclear reaction here yeah? and, and this is not something uh, to play with. Yeah? Uh, so, so this is patented, I think, in the 80s in Russia, in Vladivostok. And of course, some uh, some some machines were built in Armenia and also in Russia and I think in some other places like Brazil. But I will put in down in the description below link where, where you can find uh, this um, data and you can read more in detail about this. Maybe some of you know much more than me about this generator and or hydromagnetic dynamo, how it's called with a nuclear reaction which does not have radioactive reaction or radioactive waste. Yeah. So that's basically it. Viewers, thank you very much for watching and um, until next video, please stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.